Okay, let's test the warm-up times with the faulty thermostat. I have zeroed my consumption meter so I get consumption reading. And I have my Wacom here. We go to measuring blocks. We put there one. And we put there 15. And is it 13? So from start, it's now plus 22 Celsius. You can see the correction values in my injectors. They are not perfect, but they are what they are. Coolant temperature 34 Celsius. And now I start to drive and let's see how the consumption goes down and how the engine warms. So here we go. It takes a bit seven minutes before I am on the highway. So, let's see, and stuff rumbling in the trunk. You need to drive first the 30 meters before it starts to calculate the average consumption. It was last time, last tank 4.2 liters and the trip sold 4.2 liters so it was perfectly accurate forty Celsius water a little bit of speed some pedestrian walking 0.4 liters already the idle consumption 42 Celsius uh, actually this time I will turn the lights to parks because in park uh, I have only parking lights which are smaller the, I have the DRL LED lights at the front but I think those consume maybe total of 50 watts so it's much more than just the parking lights because I don't want to get High consumption, idle consumption 0.3 blinkering already. Uh, if I take the fan out, it's 0.3. So that impacts a little bit the DRL LED lights because before uh, the it took like 50 Celsius today, where it's now 49 Celsius the engine and the consumption is 5. Point. Ah, now it shows just instant. Yeah, that's the problem. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have to start the engine in the end of the test and then we will see the consumption. I have a regular route which I drive and we drive it and then we see what it is there when we take a U turn and then we start the car again but we will see how the warm-up goes and you can see the consumption on the highway when I'm driving 100 how it goes up 52.2 Celsius at the moment the temperature of the engine I'm driving really high gears because that's how you drive if you want to go efficiently Staying steady there, 55 Celsius. Injector values are maybe getting a little bit better, the deviation. I think the tolerance is like plus minus 2.8 2 to plus 2.8. So it's still okay, but could be better. But I think it gets better when the engine is fully warmed. So now I am driving 5V30 oils, uh, 18,000 kilometers already with these oils now and I will change them maybe next week. This 
week I try to change only the thermostat and then measure that. And next week I will change the oils also. First I will do just a normal oil, oil change and then uh, so I'm I'm at the moment using cheap cheap oils, not a brand oils for the 5V30. But uh, first normal oil change, drive few thousand kilometers and then I will buy brand oils and I think I will drive their X1R oil treatments and see how it impacts the idle consumption and the other consumption figures. It should lower the frictions a lot in the engine. So 0 0.4 is the value now 60 Celsius and no we have now driven already six minutes so it's it's when I drive it doesn't raise the temperature almost at all at these speeds but when I start to go 100 then it starts to go a little bit higher I think when it's plus 22 it takes like 20 minutes to reach the a screen meter to 90 Celsius, so it's very very slow and we measured the warm-up uh, consumptions uh, in the last video and it's uh, impact to idle consumption so if we can make it uh, faster we can lower the consumption a lot and that's what we will do we will change the thermostat probably to 104 Celsius and the original thermostat is 87 Celsius, so it should warm much faster and much higher temperatures. Some trucks here blocking the road. Now we are turning to the highway ramp. 66 Celsius water temperature. Then we will put the 6th gear and drive 100 km per hour GPS speed. And we will see, will it actually go to 95 Celsius even? I think it won't go that high because it's running so efficient. I think I need much higher speed to get it higher, but it's, a, it's my test speed, so that's what we will use. Again, lots of cars, German highway. But luckily seems to be going about 100 and we can soon go to the other range. 72.9 Celsius. Go to the left lane. So we need to get 108 or 9 to the speedometer. Then it's GPS speed 100. Celsius Now we have a nice gap here we Put the Then the cruise control on There So now we have a GPS speed of 100 Consumption, it, what it is, uh, 80 Celsius engine temperature. We have driven nine, nine minutes twenty, and at the moment it's showing 3.2 liters per hundred or per hour, three liters. It's around that, but it's not yet fully warmed. The tires are not fully warmed, so it's not accurate at the moment. But you can see how slowly the temperature starts to warm up. And driving 100, it's plus 23 Celsius outside. Uh, my injection correction values are a little bit better. Uh, the third cylinder is the worst at the moment. 84 Celsius. 
seus idling from the ramp and it's going down and liter per hour consumption weirdly around that temperature it goes up for a while and then it goes again down I don't know what's happening there do I have some mess up in my uh, echo tuning or what's causing that but from like 75 to 90 it goes back to 0.5 liters and now no fan and then we go under the bridge to start and stop and we see the consumption with the faulty thermostat I don't know the kilometers but it doesn't matter we will drive the same route so when I now start the car uh, it will solve the consumption for that except now I got some error I think it then doesn't show it I started too fast sometimes it's a little pricky picky if you start and stop very fast system doesn't have time so 4.3 liters for the warm up cycle with the faulty thermostat for this route and outside temperature 23 Celsius it is it shows too two Celsius too much for and now the uh, correction values for the engine injectors injector 3 has something more problems than the other 0 0.4 to 0 0.5 liters I don't know why it doesn't want to now go to 0 0.3 because I think, or was it from 90 Celsius? Let's try. Tease it a little bit, but it takes so long to just revving to reach the 90 Celsius, so let's not ruin the tank consumption. But yeah, that's what it is. 4.3 liters with the faulty thermostat at plus 22 Celsius outside temperature. Next video is coming with the changed thermostat, and then we will see how much lower the consumption will be on the same route. <laughs> 